slept pretty good. We woke up to this beautiful view of the lake. So if you're anywhere near Fraser Lake, British Columbia, and you have an RV, then I would definitely recommend to come to this RV park. We're in Houston. Houston, British Columbia, that is. And just like in Houston, Texas, they make a few things big. Check out this big fishing pole. We're driving along Highway 16 in British Columbia through lots of beautiful nature and lots of really cute towns. This is New Hazleton. on 37 heading north and got, we're on it probably less than five less minutes. Than five minutes. And we saw a little baby black bear run across the road. At first cool. I thought it was a dog. I was like, is that a dog? It, I would say it was less than a year old. And I let it pass and I'm like, okay, I want to get out of here because if there's a baby bear, if there's a mom, they're coming soon. <laughs> and I don't want to be the car in between them. When you're desperate for gas, you just have to stop. So. This is where we got to stop, and then we drive up to this, and there's just like one thing of gas, one thing of diesel, and then an above ground tank. And it's $1.37 a liter, which most places have been a dollar a liter. So, a little bit more, but we just got, and the next one's in like 20 kilometers, so we'll fill up there. We've been sitting in line for like, I don't know, 15 minutes because everyone is going the same way with the gas, so Peter's gonna back up. So in the meantime, I'm making some peanut butter sandwiches. Peter's eating his. Got the peanut butter here in my lap and get making dinner. Beautiful country. We just came into Jade City in British Columbia and apparently the sign says world famous. So we're gonna see why in the world is world famous. Claudia, tell us what Jade City is and why it's world famous. Because we mine all the jade here. So 90% of the jade in the whole world comes from this area and we're on Discovery, we're on TV now, we're all over the world. And so even if we weren't world famous four years ago, we're definitely world famous now. On Canada Discovery Channel, but hopefully gonna be on the U.S. market. Yeah, we're working with a U.S. production company, so hopefully we'll be on one of your guys' great networks soon. Too. Cool. They are four generations of jade miners, and they are also into their fourth season on the Canadian Discovery Channel, Jade City Show. Got a black bear here. Just grazing by the side of the road. You're not going to open your window, are you? I'm not opening my window. No way. What is he eating? I don't know. Nice close-up. Check him out. Hot bear. Oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Got the bear on film. That was so cool. You finally saw your bear. So that was the first time we got our camera out in time. And that was our third bear we saw so far. We've also seen one bobcat and one jackrabbit and some quails. Welcome to Yukon where it's larger than life. I already found out that the bugs are larger than life here. Holy cow, they're like this big. It's crazy. We thought they were bad in Minnesota. Right, oh, you see them all outside the car? There's so many of them. We're gonna kill a couple right, more in the windshield. Open. No, my seatbelt's off though. It's also kind of strange to me that you need sunglasses at 9.40 at night. So that's pretty crazy. Today was a pretty chill day. Listen to audio books, the music. I've uh, been on the road for about 14 hours so far. So one thing to make sure when you do come to Alaska, if you drive, make sure you have lots of tunes with you because in some places, you're gonna have this. Searching. Searching. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Buffering. Buffering. <laughs> so BYOT. Bring your own tunes. Oh, porcupine. 
porcupine. It's a third porcupine we saw. It looks like a sloth almost. Look at He's that walking kind of weird. Oh. You got to get his spikes in it. Check him out. <laughs> This beautiful view is ruined by bug guts, but it's still pretty. It is nearly midnight and the sun is still going down. Probably only be down for like four hours, so we're gonna sleep again in the car tonight trying to get a spot to park and wake up when the sun comes back up. <laughs>